Hello everyone. Ahlan wa sahlan. Depth conversion. The full domain conversion workflow is a two steps process. First, a velocity model needs to be defined before it's used to domain convert data. The process of depth conversion has simple and a complex approaches based on data availabilities and according to presence of seismic velocity 2D or 3D and wells. The simple process provides a single layer of depth conversion, but complex process is producing a layer cake of depth conversion workflows. This table shows five available data approaches in simple process versus complex process. For example, this table tell us workflow simple or complex steps in case of no available wells and 2D seismic velocity available as displayed on first top approach. Creating synthetic seismogram to compare real seismic with log data are important. QC of time surface. A synthetic seismogram can easily spot any mismatch between the well top in time and surface driven from the seismic interpretation time surface correction is requiring remove any offset error by adding subtracting the offset or by multiplying a correction It can be argued that 95% of the effort in domain conversion is QC, quality control of the input data and verification of the results. It is also possible to convert within the same domain, time, time, or depth depth also called correction conversion the internal velocity attribute of that check shot data are hard facts remember that by editing one point they calculated Interval velocity from the point above to the point below is recalculated. Defining the layer cake interval in a wise manner provides an optimized velocity model results. Now Linear velocity function available. Number one, lin vel, where v equals v node plus k times z. 
Number two, add Lionville, where V equals V node plus K times Z minus Z node. Both functions should give the same result at the, at the velocity locations. In case the layer depth and layer thickness changes strongly away from the wells, the linear velocity function might give them too high velocities at the layer bottom in these areas. Now let us move to second principle of velocity model. Two main workflow offered in modeling of seismic stacking velocities. Number one, by using velocity surface approach. Number two, by using 3D grid approach. In general, stacking velocity can only provide a regional velocity trend compared to well velocities. Seismic velocity map before and after filtering. The second approaches of seismic stacking velocity workflows are using velocity cube in a 3D grid for modeling. The QC and identification of velocity anomalies justifies modeling of interval velocities even if average velocity is needed. The way forward on next videos inshallah of this playlist going to discuss and shows velocities and isotropies second way forward the velocity surfaces I wish you find this interesting I wish you all happy times. Please stay well and keep safe. Bye.